Welcome back to the Frugal Homestead. I'm Missy and today I'm going to show you my super easy recipe for peanut butter fudge. So it only takes two ingredients. How awesome is that? First, I went and got a pan, just a disposable pan from the Dollar Tree. You get three for a dollar around here. And I am going to line it with parchment paper. That way, whenever I get ready to take my fudge out to cut it, it, I can just lift it straight up and it'll come right out. So that's how my pan's set up ready to go. My two ingredients are one thing of icing, any flavor that you want. In my case I'm making peanut butter fudge so um, I got vanilla and one jar, 16 ounce jar of peanut butter. Any brand you like, if you have a preferred brand use whatever you need or whatever you want, but I just usually get some of the cheaper. It'll make no difference either way. We're just gonna put them both in this container. There is lots of different variations that I do with making this fudge. Um, you can Make it with chocolate icing and make chocolate peanut butter fudge, which is really good. Or you can add some nuts and put like maybe walnuts in it or whatever your favorite nut is. Lots of different ways you can use uh, crunchy peanut butter instead of smooth. I got smooth today. Lots of different ways you can make it to make it exactly what you want. Some people's like, that's not fudge. But then whenever they taste it, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe you made that out of two ingredients. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take this over to the microwave and I'm gonna microwave it for 30 second intervals until it gets nice and smooth and creamy and mixed together well. Then I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. So it took approximately two and a half minutes in the microwave. Give you a look at it there. That's about the consistency that you want it. You want it mixed up really well. It's kind of hard to get to the bottom some, but you mix it up really well. And now all we have to do is put it in our pan. We'll put it in here and smooth it out some. Had a little bit that I didn't get mixed up as well in the bottom. Now, this goes in the refrigerator. It takes it approximately one hour to set up. A lot depends on how hot you get your uh, ingredients. I try not to get them too hot because I don't want them to burn in the microwave. But, as you can see, it's nice and thick. I'm going to get this put in the refrigerator to start cooling, and I'll be back when it's done to show you the final product. Okay, so this has been in the fridge for about an hour, and I would say 15 minutes or so. But, that's how our peanut butter fudge looks. Looks really yummy. So, to get these out, if you're using these type of pans, if you just kind of loosen the pan a little bit on the sides, it helps. And you should be able to just lift it out. There we go. Pull our paper down. And then you can cut it however size you want it. I'm not quite sure how big of pieces I want to do yet. I'm just going to cut one off here for you and show you. Look at that. Does that not look good or what? That is really, I mean, 
texture and everything is just like cooked fudge. Let's taste it. Oh yeah. I love peanut butter fudge. That's perfect. It's not too soft. It's not too dry. It's the perfect texture. So I hope you give this recipe a try and I hope you join us in all of our upcoming videos. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification button and we'll see you in the next video.